Minnesota is one of just 12 states that taxes Social Security benefits, and Republicans have long led the charge to repeal that tax. In tonight's Talking Points, Esme Murphy looks at the effort this year at the state capitol. Minnesota Republicans are arguing that if ever there was a year to eliminate taxes on Social Security benefits, this is it. Minnesota, after all, has a $9.25 billion budget surplus, but the push to at least partially roll back that tax is even getting some support from Democrats. In their tax bill, House Democrats are proposing eliminating Social Security taxes on those earning less than $75,000 a year. While Democrats have traditionally argued that the Social Security tax only hits high-income individuals, a Minnesota House research study indicates that's not true. The study found that 62% of Minnesotans filing taxes do pay taxes on Social Security and that couples earning $58,000 or more were paying Minnesota taxes on their benefits. Senate Majority Leader Jeremy Miller was a guest on WCCO TV Sunday morning. I hope this is the year. It is a priority for Republicans to eliminate state income taxes on Social Security benefits. Uh, we've been working on it for a number of years with a $9.3 billion budget surplus. Now is the time to provide seniors this much deserved tax relief. Minnesota collects about $430 million a year in taxes on Social Security income. Earlier this month, six DFL senators voted for the Senate Republican tax plan in part because it calls for eliminating the Social Security taxes. Among the 38 states that do not collect taxes on Social Security income are our neighbors, Iowa, Wisconsin, and the Dakotas. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. You can watch WCCO Sunday morning with Esme Murphy and Mike Augustinak every Sunday at 6 and 10.30 a.m.